Hello and welcome to this new Lasercraft Academy tutorial. Did you ever wonder how to do box stitch or butt stitch? If you did, keep watching this video. I will cover this whiskey flask using both techniques. Let's begin making the patterns using the flask to take the measurement. Now, let's cut the leather. I am using a 2.5mm spade stand. I need something quite stiff. You will understand later when I will stitch this. Okay, here I have intentionally made this pattern a little bit too long so I can adjust later on the leather. I have soaked the leather in water for a few seconds and I am now pressing my logo on it. Okay, let's now crease the edges with the iron. The iron is also cold because the leather is wet, just the same way I've done with a stamp. I'm going to press a little hard. Okay. So you don't need to use the same pressing iron I'm using. You could be using a different one. Use a scratch compass to trace the stitching line 2.5mm from the edge. Break the edges using a number 8 iron and a mallet. For the bottom, I have to use a 2 teeth iron in order to follow the curves nicely. For the butt stitch, I am using a diamond shape hole to pierce a hole in the middle of the edge. The thread is going to come through the edge and not under, otherwise it might create a bulk. I do not want to attach the leather on the flask with glue. I am using here some masking tape with a bit of contact adhesive so it does not move when I'm stitching it. I am now stitching exactly like I would do normally. Just being super careful that the thread is coming through the holes I have pierced previously on both sides.
I'm attaching the bottom with a bit of adhesive to the flask. I will also glue the body on the bottom edges as I do not want the construction to move while doing the box stitching. I really want the body edge and the bottom to be flush. Be careful when stitching if it moves. Now we are done. I will erase all the marks I've made on the wet veg down using my folding bone. Not that you don't need the leather to be wet to do the stitching. In fact, it will be better if it dries before. I just couldn't wait. Have you ever practiced box stitch or bust stitch technique? Maybe both? If you did, please share your tips. If you didn't and would like to give it a try, ask your questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video, like it if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to be informed when I release a new one. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!